everybody. So now we're going to discuss the escape still kicking the final episode. And when I can tell you my heart is so broken over this, I wish they'd have kept recording the entire uh, 28 tour dates. So we'd have had a whole season of this with 28 tour dates. They could have broke that up into, you know, three seasons. <laughs> we could have got six episodes a season. And all honestly, they could have broken up two seasons, 12 episodes, one season. In so many ways, we can do the math on this. But it had to have been more than four episodes, at least six, more than six. You know what I'm saying? They could have divided it up for us and gave us more, more though, um... I say they could have gave us three seasons of eight. What y'all think? They could have gave us more than what they gave us, you know, just did the whole tour. It'd have been better because we don't want it to end. It was good. Anyway, so um, Candy out of the box is proud of the BET Awards, and she was really hyped about it considering the fact, to me now, that she didn't want to be in the group. Um, she's really hyped and excited. I'm glad to see her hyped and excited because to me, that means if she hyped and excited, then she'll be more wanting to be in the group. But anyway, moving on, they, uh, got ready for the Essence Award. I was so disappointed. They had them at that little lounge. You can't tell me that there was no bigger venues available there. They had them in that lounge. So they was in a smoky bar or something. That stage was barely big enough for a, for a church choir. It was barely big enough for a, a, a preschool elementary play. I mean, they should have been shaving. They said, when you think of Essence Award, you think of like Detroit. You think of something like that level. That was just a little disappointment. You had the uh, fans outside screaming. Wanting to get in and see them. And I guess at that point when Essence realized, okay, this is really going to be a big thing. We better get our venues together because I'm sure they got some complaints. But anyway, um, I like the idea that Tamika had for them to uh, change dressing rooms uh, each tour date so they can all get close and get to know each other. I hate that it didn't work so the group could stay together even after the tour, the tour ends. But I wish they would have. Now... Keep in mind, the tour is not over with because it comes to a town near me, which I intend to go. It's like 45 minutes away. And and when it comes, that's just in December. So the tour is it's almost, I don't know how far into the tour that is. I have to look at the tour dates. But I was hoping at the end of the tour that Candy would have changed her mind by now. But after seeing Watch What Happened Live last week, I guess she just not going to change her mind. Um. So anyway, um... Um, I still think it's very sad and disappointing that T.I. didn't show up for any, um, for any of tiny stuff yet. And to me, it's just proven that everything in the tabloids, all the rumors, everything we've all, always heard, I've always heard, I don't know about y'all because I don't know y'all age, but I'm a little older. Anything that I've always heard is true. Like, he never supported her career. He didn't want her to have a career. He didn't want her singing. He didn't want her doing pretty much well anything. So now all of this is, is coming to light. It's true. He don't want her to have nothing to do with this. So I think it's sad that he hasn't come to see her. So I hope he hurry up and get over his temper tantrum. And being a butt. And I can't cuss, y'all. I'm trying to stop cussing, Okay. Because the Bible says you cannot praise me and cuss from the same mouth. How I say, I don't know the exact phrase. I would have to ask my mom anyway. Moving on. I um hope that they, um, that he, he'll start, you know, I really hoped that he would come for her, which we see at toward the end of the show, he did finally show up for her and it was so great. He brought all the kids. He, it, I don't, <laughs> he, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I, I want them to interview him. I want to see him on Watch What Happens Live because I need to know. Matter of fact, I'm about to tweet tweet that to Andy right as right soon as I hit in on this video because I want to know what he thought and how he felt about seeing Tiny doing her, like, on stage and doing her show, like, with her group. Like, I want to know how it made him feel, what he thought about it. All that kind of stuff. But why is he throwing a lingerie party again instead of seeing her show? 
I need them to specify this. I need to know. Now, this is, I'm at this point where I wish their show was still being on because I need their show to be on so I can go back and watch their show and see what was going on while he was having a lingerie party and not supporting her. You see what I'm saying here? Okay, so anyway... When they was up there on the stage rapping, I thought that was real cute and they was having fun. This is why I want them to produce new music because they still got it. Like, high in the world, they still bad. But when Tamika came and let go and busted that rap on them, Candy slightly irritated me when she was like, I thought I heard that before. You ain't thought you heard nothing. Go on and get that girl her credit. She did good. I mean, she gave her, her credit, but you just should have gave her the credit out of the box and said, girl, you did that. Stop doing that. It's like, it's called nitpicking. Don't nitpick like that. It's like somebody has a scab and you just want to walk by and keep pulling it off. All it's uncalled for. You ain't thought you heard nothing. Just say, girl, you did. Just say, golly, did you, did you just uh come up with that? That was good. That's all you needed to say. At, leave it right there. The end. But anyway. Now this whole situation with the Michael guy. That's Jermaine Dupree's daddy. I, I don't like him. Out of the gate. I just something about him. I don't like. He 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 just. It's something about him. I feel like he just snooping around. Because they selling out venues. He ain't sincere. Uh, when they was trying to talk to him. All he was worried about was what they were selling out. And what they was doing. I don't know if that was the producer in him, but I feel like, no, he wasn't being sincere. He ain't studying with this girl done paid $300,000. If I don't put out that kind of money, they done told me I owe that kind of money for expenses, this, that, and the other, but I didn't get no services from it. Somebody, somewhere going to have to reimburse me because why I didn't get my record put out? And if it didn't cost me that much to produce the record and go through everything, even though the record didn't come out, then I need I need to pay for just just the the actual cost and not what what they thought it was gonna cost to however it go I don't know I'm confused. But anyway, um, he need to go on and stop snooping around. They don't need to fool with him. These girls are veterans, and I just feel like they are so much better on their own. They can do this by themselves. They 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 have too much experience. They don't need need nobody. They got this. Um. Anyway. Um. It. I just don't like that Candy still don't think Tamika's apologize is real. Apology was real. So I was so happy that during the concert that Tamika, how she apologized. When I tell you God was in the building, they had me crying. So if I look a little funny up in the face, cause I just got through watching Escape, um, and I was crying and going on with Tamika. And Candy, because Tamika had, she done got slain in the spirit and got to feel in the spirit. And they got a bonus uh, gospel concert at the end of the, at, at the end of the escape concert. I hope when they come this way, we can have a bonus concert. We got a lot of blues, blues singers around here. I hope they give one of these old blues singers and give us some, some additional uh, free A and B selections. Uh, at the for the choir for the uh revival concert but anyway um the essence the essence fest was beautiful the one in detroit was absolutely gorgeous um i like how candy's idea for them to dress like they dressed at the beginning how they used to dress when they first come out I love that because as a fan, that's what we want to feel. That's what we want to see. See, all that coochie popping is not what we was used to. That is not what we wanted because that's not what we what we know them for. So, it was good to see them come out dressed old school. I mean, I thought that concert was everything. But, um, oh, I was talking about the, something else about the apology. I'm glad Candy finally sees that it was sincere. She brought her out on a, a sold out arena at this amphitheater. I mean, beautiful location and sincerely apologize. Honey, it take a lot to do that. She did it in front of all these thousands of people. And if at this point she didn't accept that, I was going to start screaming. But I'm glad she did. I'm glad she finally accepted and seen that it was sincere. I do need to think, think they need to stop asking Candy. Are you ready? Are we going to stay together? Are we going to stay together? 
Do you think we going to, can you, can we be a group again? And Candy keeps saying, we just going to keep doing the concert. I wish they would stop asking and just enjoy the moment, have a good time and leave it alone. And maybe if they stop asking her about it every day and stop worrying about it every day, then she'll be like, you know what? I really do like this. Give her time. Just stop, just, just stop asking about it every day. It's like a kid being in the store asking for a toy every time you go in there or some candy over and over and over again. Just leave it alone for a little bit. Let it be and then see if um um you know how it does. And then Candy made the comment um that she don't think that the fans want to see want new music for them. They just want to see the fans just want them Candy thinks the fans just want to see them do one tour one time, honey. No baby, I'm a fan. Candy, are you in there? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? We want to hear new music. We want to see more than one tour. We want y'all to come out with new music and go to concert, okay? Did you hear me? What? Can you hear me? All right. Don't. We don't need you to thank for us. We as fans, we don't want you to thank for us because we know what we want and we want you with Escape to produce new music. We we want more than that one tour. I don't know. I've never known you to make a, a bad business deal. But I will honestly say this will be your first. Just want to throw that out there. This was not a good business move, honey. It's easy for Candy to walk away because Candy's already rich. So she she doesn't care about anybody else right now. Because she has... Her money from all the songs she's she's written. Um, Tiny's okay, but Candy is the rich one. Tiny, she does okay for herself because she has royalties for songs that she's written with Candy, and she may have one or so that she's a few that she's written on her own. But I understand what the other ladies are saying. They can get in a better financial place. Not that they're poor. But I'm just saying, and then too, they just love it. And the fans want it. We want it. No, I can't, can't comprehend that. But anyway, um, I already said, talked about T.I. They showed up. Um, I talked about the gospel concert and all of that. So I think that's pretty much what most of my review for this show. Like, it was so good. Like I said, I didn't want it to be over. Um... We talked about them. I love when they came out with the robes on and and did the choir thing for the Clark sisters, honey. The Clark sisters will have you in 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 your down in your soul, crying, shouting, singing, speaking in tongue, and everything, honey. They came up there and did that. Um, and 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 they need we. This is one reason we need Escape to come back. We need that real R and B back because used to when I when I was growing up, a R and B group came out. The first thing they did, they they would give thanks to God, and at the end of every concert, it was always one gospel song, and they sung that gospel song. And nearby had church. They don't do that anymore, and I'm so happy to see Escape doing it because they need to bring all of that back. They need to bring it back real quick, like because we lose in touch with God and these young young children running around now. They got their mind messed up. They need to look Jesus in their life. So I, I like that they do that. I like that they show that. And I hope that more old R&B groups come back and they, they start back doing that. But we need Escape to come back and start back doing it. And get it uh, re, uh, restarted. And something else. They always talk about Latasha is, is big and all this. I don't know who told them that lie because tonight on stage, she was snatched. She looked great on stage. She looked just as small as everybody else on stage. And I don't know why people keep trying to say she's big or something. Because she is not big in no way, shape, or form. So I don't know what shallow-minded, stupid idiots keep saying that. But they need to stop it. Because she's not at all. She looks absolutely great. Um, And you seen at the end when the little things rolled by, said escape. Um, Tiny, uh, Tamika, and Latasha are going to continue to make new music. But Tiny is not. She's going on about her business or whatever. And they, they, uh, cause Candy, uh, but Candy is not. She's going on about her business. She only agreed to do the 28 date tour. 
So, yeah. Anyway, so that's it for Escape, y'all. I just feel heartbroken because I thought it should be more episodes. Be sure to do the regular hit subscribe and the little bell to see my reviews on a whole list of other shows that I watch. And I'll see y'all in the next video. And I hope everybody had, what is today? Today is Sunday. So I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. I haven't been in in a while. But yeah. And I'll see y'all the next video.